kilograms and another mainstayer of the main draw format the gamer Ethan Fritchie of Kansas City Missouri USA makes his debut in the Arm War Super Series six feet 77 kilograms of him the reigning US national champion he will face a man who we've seen many times before it's relentless Froda Hogeland of us near, Nor near Bergen in Norway. This man is slightly shorter at 5'11". He's the current Norwegian middleweight and overall champion. Ethan Fritchie, Kansas City, Missouri. I'm here to almost love Froda Hagdall. I heard that he pulls into a hook really nice, and I know I do the same thing, so we'll see what happens. If I have any concerns, it's that he goes inside right with me, and that just kind of scares me because I know I don't pull that many people who are just as powerful as me inside. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Here we Come go. Down. Round one, on, Fritchie, the United States of America in the yellow shirt. The man they call the gamer. Semi-professional game player. This guy used to video games and earning money from them. Here go! But this is no game. And Ethan Fritchie has started very, very aggressively driving on the arm. A Froda Hogeland, the man they call Relentless, digs in now, starts to make some gains back in the match. But it's Froda Hogeland locked in at the base. Now the counter. Big, big drive from the Norwegian. First flood, Froda Hogeland. Let's look at that on the replay. Early running in that match was all about the game at Ethan Fritchie. He got off to a blistering start but couldn't finish. Relentless Froda Hogeland, the man from Norway. First blood at the top of the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. Orgeland, very used to the six round format. That will be a big test for Ethan Fritchie. Fritchie, the son of Don Fritchie, former Wrist. decorated Wrist. US national Wrist. champion. Wrist there. Wrist. Don't move there. Ready? Go! Big drive again. Look at the speed and aggression from. This incredible young US athlete will be giving away years, but he's certainly lacking nothing in heart and determination. Big drive again, brutally powerful young man. The gamer on the attack, trying to dig in, collect his position. Hogland with the counter. And it's relentless for Oda Hogland, the man from Oz near Bergen in Norway. This guy known for his power. He's really becoming a man to watch in the Super Series men can match the power of relentless Froda. Oh, fuck the number. Never stops smiling, but he's certainly been tested to his limits, it's fair to say. Now, that young man, the game, Eden Fritchie, first time we've seen him in the Super Series. There he is now with his dad, and the call comes from Bob Brown in the corner of Team USA. Ethan, it's six rounds. Maybe he's telling the young man to slow down, measure himself. Shoulder, shoulder out. Don't move there. Go! Big drive, Fritchie sinks deep into that hook. He said he'd run in there, match Florida's power if he could, and he's certainly testing the Norwegian. This is all about brute force, drive, power, and determination. Tenacious attack, but Hogland is moving into cruise control, and you do wonder whether the six round format has a lot to do with this, because the nerves, the adrenaline dump, will not be the same for Froda Hogland. This is a man who's been there before, seen it, done it. This is not his first rodeo in the Arm War Super Series. And it would appear that the man in the black shirt <coughs> gets a... starting to get into cruise control. Wow. All smiles as usual for relentless I want you to slide your elbow towards him so you want the pin pads that way. I want him to have to come through you this direction. Mm -hmm. So you got him here get up and have them come right through you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
and then drive towards the towards the where you're the peg drives to this direction they'll disappear yeah come on technical advice in the corner of Ethan and Fritchie Bob yeah. Brown breath from a US team captain national champion wrist the United States of America the advising the newcomer, Go. the gamer, Ethan Fritchie. Get Fritchie, angle, more measured. Get that angle. Get, Get that, that angle, shouts Brown. Get In comes up. Fritchie again, tries to secure it now, but it's a top roll counter. There goes the wrist. Ooh, questionable call. And the line judges are looking at that on the replay. It has been given as a slip, overruled. Line judges looking at the evidence on the replay, and we will go into the strap. Okay. Yeah, broad. Throw to Hogland in black. The game, Ethan Fritchie is the man in yellow. Fritchie struggling at this point in time to contain the power of the slightly heavier relentless throw to Hogland. Powerful build on the forearm of the Norwegian and the black shirt. Big drive. Massive hit there on the counter from Fritchie. Now he's dug it again tight, but there's the counter roll attempt again from the Norwegian. And he's applying pressure into the hand and wrist. Surely he can secure that top roll. Slides up, drives across. Relentless throw to Hogel and takes it to four. Just look at that on the replay. You can see him moves his elbow to the back and applies the pressure into the hand and wrist of Fritchie. Fritchie tries to adjust and secure his own angle. But as soon as he does so, bang, the side pressure comes in from Broda Hogeland. And the smile of assassin secures another pin. Corner of the Norwegians. A bit of uh, technical advice coming in for Frodo Hogland, but it's more just if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep doing what you're doing. Is the advice to Hogeland. And he's in cruise control Move at the there. moment. He's certainly finding no. that he can put the match where he Come wants down. it to be, and that's the difference. Down, As I said there. at the top Change of the broadcast Come down there. this Possibly. evening, Hogeland. Come down. Don't go back up. Come been here down. before, seen it, done it, and he's wearing the t-shirt. He's Lewis one of the recognized top middleweights in the Arm War Super go. Series, and he's looking like it here in Vegas. <laughs> Big, big drive from Fritsch. He goes for his own counter top roll, but the superior hand and wrist is with the Norwegian, and he secures hand control. Smart move. We'll go into the strap, remember, when the arms slip apart. One inch nylon strap goes around the wrists and hands of the arm wrestler. It will be buckled tight, and they can go nowhere now. Fritsch will want to be away early. He will want to come out of this match with at least one Wrist. pin. He's on Don't home the... territory in the United Go. States again. Oh, <laughs> incredibly close. It looked like a pin. Keith Taylor, no call. Keith Taylor was right on top of it. Nothing from the line judges, but that was so close. The call's coming in for Ethan to set his angle and pull towards him. He was unable to do so, and he's in the counter top row now. Froda is starting to squeeze back in. There's the try press. Relentless throw to Hogland. Now, I'd have loved to see the start of that match on the replay. We're not going to see it, but wow, that was close. You cannot knock the determination, the tenacity of the young American athlete. That endurance over the six round format just seems to be in favour of the smiling assassin. Relentless throw to Hogland. Jeg har prøvet en presse, hvad han har. Ja, det må jeg køre, da. Ja, det er bare. Han føles til skaden. Ja, det er bare. Ja, det er bare. Such is the power. Så kan det komme en skid. Og force on the hits. From the young American in the yellow t-shirt. The gamer, Ethan Fritchie, has given away weight in this match. He's certainly given away experience. And particularly over this format. A real rising star of the sport, Fritchie. And I'm sure this guy will go on Don't to move. bigger and better things, go. but he's had a tough, tough baptism here in his debut. Tries to drop that wrist again, close to securing the pin, but no cigar. The strap will be applied. Frustrating for the young American. 
Concentrating, focused on that setup. Watch for the big drive again. There he goes, and again drives down towards the pad. Big, big attack again. The counter top roll, the counter side pressure now from Florida Hogland and the Norwegian keeping attack. Based into the oh, running to a wall there. That such is the power of Ethan Fritchie. But as soon as the breath is taken, Hogland capitalises and relentless Florida Hogland with the win. Look at that on the action replay. Big bump, but it didn't move. Bang, hits the wall, shocked the Norwegian, clearly. He gathers himself, waits for the counter hit, and as soon as Ethan Fritchie took a breath, there's the experience of the Norwegian. A little rub on the elbow for Florida Hogland. He secures the victory here in Las Vegas over Ethan, the gamer, Fritchie. Oh, that, that match didn't go the way I wanted it to. Of course, I wanted to win, but it is what it is. Gotta go home and practice more. We both transitioned very well, but uh, he just helped me at the pad, and uh, he has a stopping point, and I don't, and that's the main thing I have to work on. The six round format is definitely something I need more experience on. My endurance is not, not near as what his is. Definitely, I can tell. My experience is, uh, it was awesome. I loved it, and uh, hopefully I get a chance to come out here again and do it.